It's buzzing in here ahead of game three. And we'll be back in a minute to get it started. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got the American League Championship Series on the show. It's the Texas Rangers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. Postseason baseball, Singy, it's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching, guys coming out of the bullpen, throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that'll live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go and towing the slab Merrill Kelly it's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day when he's right he's really able to keep hitters guessing and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot the same tunnel and that can make life very difficult on his opponents now here is Marcus Simeon the why to kick the pitch he swings and fouls one off. And now it's even up. Well, second pitch of this game and already getting squeezed a little bit. Chris Marcus Simeon, Bay Area guy, played his college ball at Cal. White Sox selected him in the sixth round in 2011, and he has developed into a fine player. Yeah, and he comes from a really good athletic line. His dad played football at Cal. His mom was also an athlete in college, and this guy is just a really good leader on a ball club. Had a breakout to his career when he went to Toronto and started hitting home runs left and right. Next pitch misses. Three and two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. And Simeon is out. And there's one down. Seeger stands in now. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next one misses one and one. Just missed. One down, base is empty. That one misses. Three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Foul ball there. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Next pitch has popped up. Marte on his way over. He's got it, and there's two away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Evan Carter in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. The pitch. 
And he grounds one to the right side. And that one handled. Now the throw to first on the run. Wide throw pulls him off the bag, and the inning still alive. Boog, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Two outs, runner at first. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And the pitch. there in the dirt but kept close and the runner stays where he is righty to the plate still two and two after the foul ball And he deals. Just missed. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And ball four, two aboard. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Mitch Garver up to hit here. And a foul ball. Carter over at second. Garcia on at first with two down. The next pitch misses. And now it's even one and one. And that's a strike. Got it swinging. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Rangers leave a pair. And now the Diamondbacks will get their first turn at bat. No score. This is the American League Championship Series on the show. here at Chase Field and on the hill in this one Jordan Montgomery what's the word on him well this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing people like playing behind him everyone seems to be loose and the offense tends to get going so you know you're looking at an opposing lineup when they see him out there in the mound they know that he's going to compete they don't want to let him settle in they want to try to knock him out get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable Cattell Marte leading things off and takes a strike. Pitch misses outside, and it's a ball and a strike. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Batting second, the right fielder, Corbin. This is Corbin Carroll. First off, bring it just misses. Line drive, base hit. Now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Gabriel Moreno. 
Runner on the goal. Bounce to the right side. That's a hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. One away, runners at first and third. And now it's Christian Walker. In for a strike. One one. pitch hard ground ball base now in comes the first run of the game as the Diamondbacks take the lead comes through with the RBI really nice job staying up the middle with his approach he didn't try to do too much with the pitch just shot it through the infield here's Tommy Pham First offering, misses the mark. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. The pitch. And that's in there at the knees. One out. Runners at first and second. Right side, foul territory. And yeah, there's two away. Batting two. The left fielder, Lourdes Gurriel. And it's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All ones account. Two on, two outs. Oh. Pitch misses, and it's one and one. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. The pitch. That one down the line, and foul ball. Next pitch is outside. Moreno, the lead runner at second. Walker at first, two out of the inning. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Moreno around third. He scores, and they lead by two. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. First and second, two down. Alec Thomas now. That misses. And that's ball one. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Here's a 1-1. Fought off foul. The one two. Next well, offering is outside. Go. 
Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Runners hold tight, but it's a full count now. Here's a high chopper, and that's just foul. And here it comes. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. Base is full, two gone. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. And first offering is fouled off. there at the knees two outs bases are full that's off the mark one and two to count they try to get him to go chase the pitch down and away but he wouldn't bite Next offering is down low. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three. On to the second inning here in the desert. It's the Diamondbacks two, and the Rangers nothing. Welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Kelly back to work. And that one is in for a strike. and misses. Pulled the string of the changeup. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And he pumps it a strike. And now the 01. And that's too high. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone. But usually you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make guys earn it. The next offering misses. And a count two and one. And that one a little bit high. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. All over that one right there. That's one of those you classify as just too hot to handle. Hit it on the screws, and it couldn't be fielded cleanly. But you can't really blame the defense in that case. Here's Josh Young. There's your strike. And the right hater deals. 
Grounder might be two. Over to Perdomo. That's one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Rangers nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Here comes a pitch. Strike one. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped. Jumps, but it's off his glove. The throw is still in time. And that's out number one on a tough play. Back to the top of the lineup, Cattell Marte stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Grounded out his first time. And there's a ball. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job going the opposite way with it, letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Runner on at first with one gone. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Well, that's one of those knots where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, a base hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Rudders are at the corners, one away. In the dirt, and yeah, the count even one and one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Strike two. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Rolled to short, could be two. To first, and he beats it, everyone's safe. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Christian Walker. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Ball and one. a curve is down and in. You know, Christian Walker, a guy who had a really successful amateur career, his college ball with the South Carolina Gamecocks, they won the College World Series twice with Walker, and he tied the College World Series record for most career hits at 28. Next offering is in for a strike. Carroll at second. Moreno over at first, so one away. Dive, and he's got it. The throw on to Simeon. What a double play that was. Inning over. One run, three hits, no errors, and one left on. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Diamondbacks three, and the Rangers nothing.
Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Leody Tavares. Tavares, 24 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. Off the mark there. One ball, one strike. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2013 in the playoffs. You caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Here is Marcus Simeon. First time up was a pop out. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And another ball. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. That one spoiled and the count now two and one. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Next offering is downstairs. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. It's the call, and it's three and two. Nobody out, runner at first. Check swing and a 3 2. Appeal down to first. Nope, he held back. Now it's Corey Seeger. He's over one. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays. Dives and he can't hang on. Gets it there in time, though, and they end up with two in scoring position after the out at first base. Up next for the Rangers, Evan Carter. Reached on an infield single his first time. That one's in there. That's strike one. That's through there for a strike. One down. Runners at second and third. Here's the 0-2. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Thomas gets under it. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. He'll score the sack fly, and it's now a two-run game. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Adolis Garcia. Next to bat, the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. He reached out a walk his first time. Ground ball, Walker. He steps on the bag, inning over, and it could have been worse. 
So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Diamondbacks three, and the Rangers one. Set for the bottom of the third. Now Good it's the fight. DH, Tommy Pham. Charlie's back out here yeah. for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. On Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Pham hitting fifth in today's lineup, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. And a pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. You know, Blue, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the D.H. today, that is really a nice day off. That's Next offering misses. Now one, one and ball, two. Two strikes. Struck him out swinging. Had him out front for strike three. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. Guriel batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Up the middle. And it gets by him. A couple of hits in a row now for him here. Diving on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Man at first, Alec Thomas stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That takes low for ball one. And the pitch. There's a strike at the knees, and it's one and one. Guriel, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. That missed inside, and a count two and one. Ripped to first, caught, dives for the bag, got him. Double play. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Game three moves on to the fourth. It's the Diamondbacks three, and the Rangers one. Back here in the desert, John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Mitch Garver. And a pitch. Misses inside, and it's 1 0. Mitch Garver, one of the rare major league players who hails from New Mexico, and one of the other ones, pretty good player, third baseman for the Astros. Garver grew up playing with Alex Bregman as a kid. Two -oh count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a man on base to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. He's 0 for 1. In there for strike one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next offering is in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Next offering is down low, and that is ball one.
The pitch. And a ball evens the count. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Next one misses, and it's three and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Thomas racing over to make the catch. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. First pitch just misses. Ball one, no strikes. They say it went. One ball, one strike. The one one. And a foul ball. The one two. Hit on the ground might be two. Fires to second for one. And their second double play of the day will end the fourth. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Rangers one. Fourth, here's the third baseman, Evan Longoria. The third baseman, Evan Longoria. The line of the pitch. And a good eye there. The pitch. That one to first. Low takes it to the bag and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. A switch hitter batting right. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Next offering is foul back. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Ball. And now one and two. One ball, two straight. Down and two in, ball. moved his two feet. Straight. Next offering upstairs. Bounced out to short. Seeger. Already two gone here in the home four. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. So the batting order turns over. Cattell Marte stands in now for the Diamondbacks. One for two. There's a strike at the knees. 0 and 1. 0 1's the count. Oh, 
check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. And that's One downstairs ball. and outside. Swing and a miss struck him out. Diamondbacks down quickly as the lead remains 3-1. here at the ballpark Here's now it's going to be Josh Young number six Josh Young and the pitch outside wow. well these Rangers do a great job Boog of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them feels like almost every at bat has gone full they've worked a full count six different times and that's the main reason his pitch count is so high right now what a way and now the center fielder Laoti Tavares one for one with a single and a run scored so far In there at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Righty delivers. On the ground, the first. Walker. He'll do it himself. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Here's a speed threat. Marcus Simeon. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. And with two outs, one swing put you right back in this ball game. Sneaks through base hit and that keeps the inning alive. Everything came together for him. He wasn't able to elevate it but he put a great swing on it right on time. Good balanced approach and just blasted it through the infield and now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. So man aboard. So now it's Corey Seager. First pitch, and he just misses. Simeon off of first with two away. Late swing, foul to the left. And the righty deals. Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. And a one-two. And the one-two misses to even the count. Got him swinging. Rangers leave one. Score holds. It's 3-1. Back here at Chase Field. We bottom of the Corbin inning. Time now time. it's the right fielder, Corbin right Carroll. Field. Corbin Carroll. Montgomery back to work. Up the middle. Boots it. And here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno.
And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Diamondbacks putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. One thing is they haven't been fooled all that much. Six of their hits have come off off speed pitches. And that success against off speed pitches tells me they're doing a great job of seeing the ball deep, letting the ball travel, and then just trying to use the whole field. Next pitch is in the dirt and one and one. The one one is fouled off. The one two. In the dirt and an excellent job keeping it right there. At the belt and fires. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Kicks and fires. And it's nope. ball four. He missed down low. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. And the Rangers manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. Jordan Montgomery out of the game. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Josh Sports takes over on the mound. So at this now, point in the ball game, four, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Christian Walker. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Off the plate, ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. In there at the knees. And a count one and one. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Carter settles under it. Puts the squeeze on it. Runner tagging for third. And he's in there as he tests the arm in left. One away on the flyout. Next is the designated hitter, Tommy Fan. That's inside. One and oh. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. You got to look for something up in the zone. At worst case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. Nope, at the ball. And now two and nothing. Come on, Foul ball. the 2-1. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Tried to check his swing there. Now an appeal to first. Got him. Larry Bullard rings him up. Here's Guriel. Guriel. And yeah, the first oh, offering is fight. not close. Corners are occupied with two down. And it's even up. Oh, 
Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Fights that one away, still one and two. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Slider misses outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Line drive. Carter pulls it in on the run. No runs, a hit, two left. We're through five. It's the Diamondbacks three, and the Rangers one. And welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Evan Carter. Kelly back to work. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The old one. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The 0-2. One ball. Bullpen activity starting up now. Kyle Nelson up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Man supply getting cranked up as well. The one two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a one two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Left-hand batter waits. And that just misses. Got him looking. Fastball the letters frozen for strike three. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And first offering is fouled off. Garcia, 30 years old now, and he was born in Cuba. Next offering upstairs. And there's the strike. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Swing and a tapper. To first, two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. So now the DH spot, Mitch Garver. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. On the ground to third. Longoria to first. Rangers go down in order. Offense held a check there. 7 8 9 due up in the home half of the inning. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Rangers one. Bottom of the six at the play. Alec Thomas. pitch there's a strike spores goes six feet three inches he features a four seam fastball a slider and he occasionally uses a curve and the will one that one hit to right Garcia settles under it and there's one away 
Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Number three. Evan Longoria getting ready to hit. Longoria. I'm always interested in guys like Evan Longoria. He didn't have any scholarship offers out of high school, wasn't drafted out of high school, but eventually ended up at Long Beach oh, State and became a first-round pick. How do you go from not drafted to a first-rounder? The 1-0. And that's in there at the knees. Yeah, and then becoming a superstar there for a while with the Tampa Bay Rays. And pretty incredible. Just a quiet player. Goes about his business day in and day out. Actually played third base next to Troy Kulowitzki at shortstop at Long Beach State. And slept on his couch. Right-handed reliever. That one in the dirt, and it's three and two. High fly ball out to center field. Tavares settles under it. Hauls it in, and there's two away. The batter, number two, shortstop. Two outs, base is empty. And now the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. First offering misses badly for ball one. That one fouled off. The pitch. They say it went. One ball, two straight. Next one is off the play, and the count is even two and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. And he deals. And that one hit 97 on the gun. So one, two, three, go to Diamondbacks. And the score stays three to one. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Kyle Nelson. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. The line to kick the pitch. Time. The next to hit takes outside. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. And that's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dive. Oh, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that matchup again. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. So next to hit for Texas, Nathaniel Lowe. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. And here it comes. And that's a little bit high. Time aboard here at first with nobody out. And here's a slow roller over to Perdomo. That's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. 
The 3-6-1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. Next up for Texas, Josh Young. And there's the strike. Good eye right there. Swings and misses, struck him out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Diamondbacks three, and the Rangers one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. John Gray. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Cattell Marte stands in now for the Diamondbacks. One for three. Marte. The pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Tavares settles under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. The right fielder, number seven. Corbin. Now up next for Arizona, Corbin Carroll. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Righty delivers. On the ground to third. Young tossed the first, and a couple of quick outs. The catcher number 14, Gabriel. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Riding to the plate. That one just misses. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Nothing doing for Arizona, but they still lead it 3 1. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number 57. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's the center fielder, Leody Tavares. The center fielder, Leody Tavares. The wind and the pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And that turns the lineup over. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. 
So the lineup flips over. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Pitch misses there. And that's ball one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Here comes a pitch. Line drive. Jumps, but it's off his glove. Goes to second. Safe there. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Really spun on that pitch and ripped it down the line, and it couldn't have been much closer to ending up in foul territory, but it did just sneak in there for the base hit. Good job by the defense as well to hold it to a long single. First and second, no outs. Up next for the Rangers, Corey Seager. This guy has turned into a beast. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. That one's in there. Strike one. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Joe Mantiply appears to be getting loose. Castro, a right-hander, loosening up as well. Tavares on second. Simeon at first with no outs. Next offering is in for a strike. A pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. And now the lefty. Next offering misses down and away. Way to lay off that pitch down. The next offering misses. Two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. To third. Dives, but it's off his glove. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And now here is Evan Carter. Now a slow roller to second. Marte. Quickly to second for one. Out there, but that's all they'll get. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. This guy with light tower power. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. And a pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. Guriel handles the chance. Here comes the runner from third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. Back even, it's 3-3. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats, but he'll take the sack fly RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. New pitcher on here, Miguel Castro. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So now here's the DH. Mitch Garver outfield deep here trying to prevent anything over their heads. Ball one, no strikes. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. And a pitch. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And the pitch. 
At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Jonah Heim in the on-deck circle for Texas. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run into scoring position. So some pressure pitches coming up in this next A-B. First and second, two outs. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. The pitch. And that one missing low. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. Ball to strike. Good eye right there. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And the right-hander deals. And there's a the ball. First and second. Two down. And now it's filled up. to the left side and it's just foul that was close now fly ball to right center Carroll moves towards it makes the grab and that'll end the inning but they score twice and even it up late home half of inning number eight straight ahead all tied up at three apiece Welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Down the line, it's a base hit. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. And here's the pinch runner, Jace Peterson. So digging in, Tommy Fan. And first offering is fouled off. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The 0 1. Now 1 to 1. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory get yourself in the scoring position kicks and deals swing and a miss and now two and two with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Next pitch has popped up. Low pulls it down and they're two away. Now batting center fielder Alex Thomas. And now the center fielder Alec Thomas. Yeah, Little chopper rolls foul. Two outs. 
upstairs. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. In the air to left center. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. And boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Evan Longoria. So it's second and third occupied. They go for the intentional walk. Base is now loaded, and there's a force at every base. So two down. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Here's the strike up high. One one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Up the middle. Seeger. They get the force. What a play to end the inning. So they strand three and leave them loaded. On to the ninth now in game three. All tied up at three apiece. So coming into the game now on defense, Jace Peterson, who takes over as the new first baseman. Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Left hand hitter waits down the line towards the corner and it stays fair. Here comes the throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats and a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Go ahead, run on base. So next to hit for Texas, Josh Young. First offering, and it just misses. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Check swing, no appeal. And it is two to one. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. That misses. Three and one now. Leody Tavares waiting to hit for the Rangers. Is the corner. And there's ball four. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walked out a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Leody Tavares. Infield looks like they're expecting a punt with speed at the plate. And that bunted towards third. Bare hand has to hurry. Not in time. He's safe. 
Well, he's just given himself up to move two runners into scoring position right there, but somehow the defense can't get it out anywhere, and this is quickly turning into a golden opportunity for this offense. Bases loaded, nobody out. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Low, the runner at third. Young over at second. Tavares on at first with nobody out. In there at the knees, and now it's even one and one. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. This one popped up. Marte pulls it down, and there's one down. Man, it's so frustrating. You got a couple of runners on. You want to try to drive in at least one run. Maybe you get a little too big with the swing. Pops out right there, and I tell you what, nobody's more frustrated with that at bat than him. Seeger in the box now, takes strike one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue to finish off this hitter. One out, base is full. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strike out there. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Joe Mantiply. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. Well, he came out clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. And now everybody's running. Squeeze attempt misses. They put the tag on him. The squeeze attempt fails, and that ends the inning. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, Dua. All tied up at three apiece. So bottom of the ninth, now at the plate, Cattell Marte. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. That one catches the zone, and that is strike one. I'm well, impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the bat expands. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Young settles under it, and it's caught for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it, just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Will Smith, the closer, is getting loose. Next pitch is inside. 2-0. and oh. Oh, He never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Left-hand batter waits. Stays alive. Here's a 2-2. Fights it off. You'll see another.
kicks and fires. 3 2 now. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Gabriel Moreno waits on deck. The line of the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. You're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Steps on first for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's the catcher to hit, Gabriel Moreno. A strikeout and a walk. First offering misses the mark. All tied up here the last half of inning number nine. Next offering upstairs. Trying to send this extra innings. And delivers outside. Jace Peterson on deck for Arizona. And now three and one. Swung on, popped up left side. Young settles under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And the inning is over. And the Diamondbacks down in order. So no change in the score. It's 3-3. Three, three. Here in the desert, now the left fielder, Evan Carter. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. There's a strike. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Kevin Ginkle, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. And a pitch. On the ground to short. On the run, sends it over to first. And they get the leadoff man in the 10. Well, oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. And now Adolis Garcia. That one's in there on one. And a foul ball. <laughs> oh, and two now. Ground ball right side. Down the line, and it's foul. The O2. Fouls it back with two strikes. Ball tied up here in extra innings. Next offering is in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. And next is the designated hitter, Mitch Garver. First pitch just misses. All tied up and here in extra innings. Now with the shift on, hits right into it. Third out. And the Rangers set down in order. Score remains tied at three. So out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Aroldis Chapman. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. 
Now it's Jace Peterson getting his first plate appearance here in extra innings. He entered the game as a pinch runner. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Strike one. And here it comes. And that one wrapped foul. Here comes a pitch. Struck him out looking. And now the DH, Tommy Fan. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Will Smith, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. The 1 0. And another ball. And that's outside. Lourdes Goriel Jr. waiting to hit for the D-backs. That's in there. Three and one. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Takes it in for the out. Now back. Lourdes Goriel Jr. will hit next. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That catches the top part of the zone. Strike one. At the belt and fires. And strike two. Oh, and two now. And ball one. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Well, here we go. Winning run is on base with two away. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. I mean, it was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. D-backs making a move for a pinch hitter. Emmanuel Rivera, the winning run on base for him. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and deals. In the air, foul off first. He's got it, and that's the inning. So no runs here and a base hit, no errors, and one left. On to inning number 11 we go. All tied up at three apiece. Your now into the ball please. game on defense, now Heyman Smith. Seven. He'll be patrolling number center field. Six. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim, known for his late inning heroics. And a pitch. And that one off the outside edge. The sinker at the knees for a strike. Oh. 
ground ball to the right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Flip to the pitcher is in time. And they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. And here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And now the lefty foul back our way, and that's out of play. All tied up. We are in the 11. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The pitch. My drive. That's a base hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. First pitch, not close. And he deals. On the ground left side. Six, four, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this jam. Back here at Chase Field. We're in extras here. Here's the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Chapman back to work. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball and the bottom just falls out of it. Not even close there. It's a ball and two strikes. And a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Now that is shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo, the next to hit. That misses the zone, and it's one to know. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. And a strike. Way high. Cattell Marte up next. Three one is on the way. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Three two now. Good job to fight that one off. Back up the oh, that got him. In there, he's safe. Patcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Back to the top of the order now. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. 
Got it started a little too early. Strike one. The 01. Just missed. One down, winning run on first. On the ground, a second might be two. Over to Seeger. Adelo. It's a double play. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam and they end the inning. Ryan Thompson gets the call from the pen. Number 81, Ryan Thompson. So digging in, Laoti Tavares. The center fielder, number three, Laoti Tavares. The pitch. That one missed. And a 1 0. Just missed. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Now 3 and 0. Oh, so definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Here's a 3 0. -oh. There's a strike. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Exactly what they needed him to deliver there, a quality at bat. Now the pressure's on to find a way to get him home. No outs, runner at first. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. Gets the bunt down the right side, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Squares the bunt, but that rolls foul. Next offering misses. Now one and two. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. That misses. Now two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals, and just misses with that one. Corey Seager in the on-deck circle for Texas. Three-two. Got him looking. And the struggles continue in the postseason. And here's Corey Seager to hit. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. That one is upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. The pitch. Well. Two 
Hard ground ball for a base knock. Lead runner around second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it. So really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ball game. Digging in, Evan Carter. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Bounce to the right. Peterson toss the second on the first save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Well, it's always a tough double play to try to turn right there, and the hitter knows that. He's going to hustle all the way up the first baseline to prevent it. Nice job of getting that run across. And now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Thompson with a move to first. Carter back on a dive. Chopped out towards short. Perdomo tosses across the first, and that'll do it. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Will Smith will take over here. Now, this is an extremely confident pitcher. He loves the pressure. Actually likes the one-run game better than a comfortable three-run save opportunity because that's when he pitches his best. Well, one-run game. And now, Corbin Carroll. The right field. Corbin Carroll. The pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. The lefty ready and a 1 1. That's the third. In plenty of time to first. One up, one down. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Position perfectly. Gabriel Moreno digs in down. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Out to short. Seeger. Jump throw. In there safely. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop could even make that play. And here is Jace Peterson. His first at bat was a strikeout. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And that's outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. And yeah, now two balls and a strike. Tying run at first. The winning run at the plate. Swings and misses. Two and two. Left hand batter waits. 
And that one is lifted in the air. Carter gets there. He's under it. He makes the catch. And there's two down. The batter, the designated hitter, Tommy. Tommy Pham now at the plate. And things could change quickly here with one swing. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Two outs. In the air, right field. Garcia really on his horse for this one. The World Series is coming 